welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really quick swatch party video on a palette that I had no intention of buying, but I'm so, so curious to see how this formula turns out. Also, if you guys hear any tinkling, like, like right now, or any licking or any barking, it's because both my dogs are in my room, which never usually happens. But uh, now that we have two dogs, Lucy's like a little more brave. She didn't used to like coming in here, but now that we have Teddy, she's okay with being in here. It's weird. I don't know if it's like the lights and like all the big, tall, scary things like freak her out, but she'd always just stop at the door and be like, should I come in? Should I not come in? It's funny. I'm sorry. I'm such a dog person. I'm rambling, but let's get into some swatches. Okay guys, so this is really funny, but I honestly had no intention of buying this Milani palette. Now they first came out with the other one, which has like some shimmer shades in it. And then like a week later, they came out with the Most Love mattes. Now I had them go in and out of my cart, in a, into my cart, out of my cart, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, no Karen, don't buy any more freaking eyeshadow palettes. Like you literally have these other two Milani palettes that you bought last year, which I bought these last year because I saw Makeup Struggles talk about them. And then I found them in store and I'm like, oh my God, these things are so hard to find. So I bought them and uh, never reviewed them or anything. They just sat there. And then I saw this one at Walmart and I was like, well, I feel like the universe is telling me I should buy it. And I've seen so many good reviews on this palette. So I'm really curious. This is my first time taking it out of the box. I haven't done anything with this yet. I just saw so many good reviews, especially like Emily Noel. She was talking about how good these are for a drugstore. And I feel like the drugstores come out with so many dupes for like the Modern Renaissance palette, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, here is what it looks like. And it is really beautiful, you guys. I love anything gold and it's nice and like well made. So I'm really curious to see if we have a nice swatching palette on our hands. I know they just restocked the other one on the Milani website. And again, I did the whole putting it into my cart and I was going to buy it. And then I was like, nope, you don't freaking need it. Also, this was $14 at Walmart, but on Milani's website, they're selling these palettes for 20 bucks. So I'm like, no, I'm not paying extra if I can find it at Walmart for less, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to swatch this for you guys because I feel like I've just been holding on to this forever. And so here is how I swatched. I just swatched these four. And now that I look at it, it's almost like they're broken up into quads. So you can use this and do a complete eye look. You can use this and do a complete eye look and you can use the last row and do a complete eye look, which I think is really, really cool. So let me just go ahead and show you what the swatch like. Ooh, this is good. This is pretty good. I mean, that's impressive. So we have Fancy Vanilla. We've got My Daily Latte. We have Toast of the Town. And then we have Chocolate is Life, which is this last brown shade. So that's pretty freaking promising. It's a little bit powdery, but I'm not too worried about it. I just watched the MAC X Jeremy Scott collection, and I swear that palette is a freaking joke. It's, it's a $75 joke that MAC pulled on the beauty community, if you ask me. That's my opinion. Okay, so now we're going to swatch my what I think will be my favorite row, which is the Mauves. Super pretty. Also, I forgot to mention there's a huge mirror on the inside of this palette, which, I mean, who doesn't need a mirror, you know what I mean? So there are the next four shades, and let me tell you the colors. So we have Come Up Roses, Bust and Mauve, and No Plum Intended, and Don't Raisin Your Voice. So that's pretty cool. I like those names, they're very punny. Ha ha ha. See what I did there. Okay, and now I'm gonna swatch the last row. And these are like my go-tos. I love a good like warm orange shade. So I am excited to see how these turn out. So here are the last three. Hopefully you guys can see them. Let me tell you the shades. So we have You're a Peach, Catch a Tan, Hiking in Sedona, and Umber the Sun. Get it? Like under the sun, umber the sun. 
Cute! I love that. This is like one of my favorite shades in the whole world when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. So, I mean, it's not like to die for or anything, but I think this is like a really great affordable palette for the price point and if you don't want to spend a ton of money or you want to stay under 20 bucks for a all matte eyeshadow palette from the drugstore i don't think you need to look any further than this guy now i want to swatch these other little palettes too because like i said i haven't even opened these up they're still sealed and uh, i just feel like a terrible <laughs> terrible person for buying this stuff and not even attempting to use it it just goes from one pile to the next pile and they have quite a few different palettes like this from Milani and then they came out with these ones so they're called their everyday eyes palettes and you basically get like a complete look in a palette this is the matte one and this is the metallic one so let's swatch the matte one first I actually had one of the other shades from this Everyday Eyes collection, and I think I actually end up taking it back. And now that I swatch them side by side, I almost have a mini version of the Most Loved Mattes. So I think what they did is just take shades from the Everyday Eye collection and then stick them in like a, a nice big palette, which I think is a really genius idea. So here is the brown and the black. The brown is really pigmented. The black is okay. Definitely could use some building up. I'm actually really curious to swatch the metallic one. So let's quickly hop into that. So here's what the metallic one looks like. There's some really beautiful metallic eyeshadow shades in here. So I'm excited. Also, you do get a little brush. So I think that's kind of nice. You know, some people do end up using those brushes. I personally like to use my own brushes, but... I mean, not everyone has an eyeshadow brush collection like I do either, so I don't really expect people to go all out. But here are the metallic shadows. So, ooh, what? Okay, I gotta show you guys this. This is crazy. Wow. They look really pretty. Ignore my bracelet. It's just like inopportune place to have a bracelet right now, but there they are <laughs> and in case you guys are curious my bracelet is from rocks box which is a monthly subscription <laughs> service and they do really cute stuff i really like this bracelet anyway there are those shades the metallic and then there's two more shades so they included another metallic these are so buttery you guys and then they included a black which i think is genius because Maybe everyone wouldn't buy both the palettes like I did because I'm an excessive person. Um, so it's nice because you can do a complete look with this little palette. So I am so excited to play with all of this Milani goodness. I feel like there's definitely some repetition with the matte one and the bigger matte palette, but that's okay. They're all very, very affordable. So if you see these in store, I would definitely recommend getting the metallic one because it looks really really promising okay guys that is my quick swatch video let me know if you have any questions or concerns or comments about these palettes down in the comment section I love hearing from you guys and of course I read all my comments and respond to you as soon as I can thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you on the next one bye guys